What's up nerds of virgins, it's your boy Ape Crypto, and today I'll be showing you a complete beginner's guide in how to get it set up to buy, sell and mint CNFTs. And I'll be giving you little tips and tricks in between that will help you come to grips with things as easy as possible. If you want to get into CNFTs and NFTs as a whole, this is a must watch video. And if you want to keep up with everything popping in the NFT space, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. And while you're at it, make sure you follow me on Twitter at ApeCryptoYT and make sure you follow my own project nerds and virgins. So the very first thing, what you have to do is set up a wallet. So you can either go with NAMI or CC Vault, which are my preferences because of smart contract compatibility, but you can also use Euroi and Daedalus for minting. I recommend Daedalus for minting, but personally in this video, we'll be using NAMI. So whatever browser you have, you can set this up. So say if you're on Chrome, you can click Chrome and then it will pop up with this and then click add to Chrome. Click add extension and then this should pop up in the top right corner of your screen and then you can click the NAMI logo and then you can create your wallet. So you click new wallet, I accept these terms. And so right here is a seed phrase. You wanna write these down and put these in the safe space and then follow instructions from here on in. No, this is not an actual wallet I'll be using. So this is just an example. Don't be trying to play them games with me, boy. And once you've followed them instructions, you've successfully created your wallet and it should look like this. So you got your receive, you've got your send. And then if you click here in the middle, this is where your assets will pop up once NFTs are in your wallet. So the first thing you got to do is get ADA over into your NAMI wallet because you obviously need that to buy NFTs. So you click receive and then you copy and paste this and then you send from whatever exchange or wallet that you have, which is a pretty straightforward process. So now you've got ADA in your wallet and now you want to buy some NFTs. The number one marketplace to do this in the CNFT space is definitely JPEG store. So we're going to set up our wallet on there. So you click connect wallet, connect NAMI, and this should pop up. Click access, and then you should be connected. Now with Ada in your wallet, you're ready to buy an NFT. So let's look up this one, for example. One of my favorite collections, Nerds and Virgins. So the cheapest one on the market is 15 Ada. So if you wanted to buy this one, this sexy little virgin, you'd click buy, and you'd go from there. So in this wallet, we haven't set up our collateral yet, which is a very easy thing to do. You click your icon in the corner, click collateral, and you'll be all good when you have the balance in there. Once you've got the collateral, it's pretty straightforward from here, as long as you have ADA in your NAMI wallet and it's connected to JPEG store. And once you do buy it, it may take a while because of the congestion on the Cardano network, but once you do buy it, it should pop up here. Now you can send this NFT anywhere you like to a friend or selling it. If you were to sell it, you'd click here, you'd browse for your NFTs, then you'd click sell. It's pretty straightforward. You pretty much just set it at the price you need it to be, take into account royalties and the JPEG store, and then you should be all good to go. And then bang, you're rich. Lambos, yachts, and baddies, you're set. So that's buying off the secondary marketplace, but what about minting? And what's the difference between buying off the secondary marketplace and minting? Good question. For people who have been around, that's a straightforward answer, but this is a beginner's guide. So how minting works is, and how it's different to the secondary marketplace. Minting, you buy directly off the supplier, AKA the project. So for example, this is one that I found on CNFT calendar and it's Ada Apes and you'll be minting directly off their website. How the minting process usually works is a buy now button comes up on the website on a certain time, which they make clear on the website and on their Twitter and in their Discord. And, and then it will usually pop up with an address and the amount of Ada that you need to send to it in order to receive the NFT. Whereas, whereas on JPEG store, you're buying the NFT second hand. It has already been bought from the supplier and now it's on the secondary marketplace. So JPEG store is a secondary marketplace. So for example, with this NFT, the counter would go down, the buy button would come on, and then the address would come, which you'd copy and paste, you'd head to your NAMI wallet, and then you'd click send, and then you'd have the address or the handle or whatever, and then you'd send the required amount of ADA to receive this NFT. Whether you prefer to buy more established projects that are proven to be legit, or to mint, they're both good options. I'd say minting is a bit more risky, but minting can be a bit more profitable, so it's up to you to establish what one you'd rather. I've made a ton of profit minting projects, and I've also made a ton of profit sniping off the secondary market. Mutant Crocs is an example of this. I bought, I think, two or three of them when they were 40 ADA each, and now the floor is 400 ADA. If you've got a good project that is undervalued on the secondary, it really can be profitable. That was pretty much, I've hit a 10X on this awesome project. So say you've minted a project or you've bought it off the secondary market and you're wondering how rare it is, how much it's worth. CNFT tools is the place to be. So say you bought or minted a Boss Cat Rocket Club NFT. You go on CNFT tools, 
you click choose project and then you'd go down and find boss cat rocket club and depending on what you got you could filter by price and then you can see the floor this way and you can also see what the price of a certain attribute is so say if you minted the shark fur you'd see that the floor is 8,000 ADA so that would have been a very good mint so this is a really good way to check the exact value of your NFTs compared to other listings of certain characteristics it's also a good way to snipe rarer NFTs off the floor. So for example, you see all of these here under 3,000 ADA and you can see these ranks. There's a rank 5,700 and there's a rank 5,594 all with ranks of 9,000, 7,000, 8,000. So I'd say that this NFT here is a decent buy because it's priced around the same as one of the least rare NFTs but it's actually quite rare in the scheme of things if you're inclined that way. Some people aren't, some people just like to buy off the appearance of it so say i like this one i want to buy this one and some people just don't care about the rankings and that's all good too but if you want to snipe here's a good way of looking at it and i've used this in the past and gotten some awesome deals what you want to be looking at as well before buying on the secondary is analytics you want to be looking at volume of the last 24 hours and the last seven days which is essential to see if they're actually selling or not because you can buy an nft for cheap but if no one buys it what's the point so as you can see here there's all healthy volume as this is the top project for the last 24 hours. You can also see the seven day chart, the 30 day chart, and the all time chart to get a grip on the biggest and best projects on Cardano. On OpenSea NFT, you can also see the amount minted, the amount of holders, the all time highest sales, the total transactions, the floor price, and the amount of assets sold. You can also see charts of the price history and the floor price history as well. And as well as wallet holder analysis, and as well as transaction history, which is a good way of looking at volume. Like everything I mentioned, this will be in the description and this is a very handy tool. CNFT analytics is a similar one as well, but I personally like to use open CNFT. So now you know how to set up your wallet, you know how to buy them off the secondary, you know how to mint them, you know how to check how rare they are, you know how to check projects, whether they're worth buying, and now you know how to look at all the statistics on these projects. But how do you know what to buy and when to buy? Well, when it comes to minting, when CNFT, CNFT calendar are great sources for this as well as as well as Twitter. When CNFT is a website that just shows all the upcoming mints. So as you can see on the screen, the date for me right now is the 27th. So these are all up and coming. Aiden Ninjas is a project that I like. So you can click on there and then this takes you to their website and then you can go from there. They have links to their Twitter, their Discord, which are all very handy and all information about their project to see if this is for you. And it's pretty much the same thing on CNFT calendar, just in a different format. They're both good tools and you can find great projects and I actually have found great projects on these. But my number one spot is Twitter. You find just scrolling, you can see people talking about good projects and then you can find them for yourself by following the right people. I actually leave a list of all the right people to follow and these are people that I personally look to for information. No one knows everything, but it's always good to get following a load of good people and then go from there. I leave links to Twitter accounts that I think are valuable as well as YouTube accounts as well because there's a lot of people that pump out good content and pump out good information. In saying that, you should always do your own research and use them as guidance like you should be using as my video as this is not financial advice and no one posting on Twitter and no one posting on YouTube is giving you financial advice. So, so don't get all mad at them when your investment fucks up. So as a beginner, you're pretty much set from here. You got your wallet set up and everything's good to go. I'd recommend getting a Twitter account and following all the people that I put in the description as well as getting a Discord account because this is how you interact with all the communities and get a gist on whether this project is legit or not. You want good engagement, you want active devs, and you want to see the hype, whether it's on Twitter and Discord. But I'll jump into that, what makes a good project, in another video. This is just how to get set up and how to get rolling in the CNFT space. And once you get rolling, it's a very good place to be in, and it can be very profitable. When you're in communities, when you're on Twitter, ask anyone, everyone's really nice, even if it's a new question, and everyone will help you find your feet, get you started on your CNFT journey. And hopefully this video has done that for you. If it has, I appreciate it if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, as well as hitting that notification bell to not miss out on anything that I'm keeping my eyes on. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. I really hope to help. If you've got any questions, ask in the comment section. And if you want to find out all these links, I'll leave them in the description for you. I'm Ape Crypto, the leader of the nerd inversions. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.